YouTube, it's your guy, Not Your Average Trucker, coming to you on a uh, Thursday, August 22nd. Extremely, extremely annoying day for me, man. Sitting in one of my freaking, uh, one of my sleepers. Actually, uh, sleep at one of my local dudes drives um, I was in my day cab this morning you know making my little runs in the middle of delivering one of my loads I'm on my way to pick up another one I'm supposed to have a short day today you know I left my house at like 2:45 in the morning because I had to be at a Costco store at 4:30 or whatever Leave my house two thirty in the morning. Make my you know my little delivery. Headed back to Charlotte to pick up another one. Then the dude that drives this truck calls out. You know, dog ate his homework. You know how that go. So I end up having to park my freaking day cab and just uh, jump in his truck because it was easier. And I forgot he was a smoker, so been riding around in his day cab all day. Like, with the window down, you understand? All that freaking uh, ashes and all that is, you know, I ain't a smoker, man. Never have been, never will be. So, it's been annoying, man. But I just had a day of days today, man. Like, you know how it is, man. Sometimes you go to work, whether it's, you know, your job, you know, whether you own the company, whether you work for somebody else, whatever, man. But... You know, you got some of them days, man, where you just, uh, you just ain't, you ain't in the mood for it, man. And that's pretty much what I got going on today. Like I say, I got up dumb early to deliver my stuff. It was headed to pick up another one. My day, I started my day at 2.45 in the morning, but my day should have been over before noon, you know what I mean? But instead, I had to jump, grab this truck. You know, he was loaded with some uh, Coca-Cola. I think he had like a trailer full of Dr. Pepper or something. And I had to run it down to the freaking Coca-Cola spot down in Piedmont, South Carolina. So we talking two hours from Charlotte. Naturally, in the midst of doing all that, you know how I go, man. It's sunny outside, and that's the best time for idiots to crash on the highway. So it's got multiple delays. And I'm used to being in the day cab. Normally in the day cab, if I notice an accident or something your gps telling you there's a delay coming up i throw in google maps and see if it's an alternate route and since i'm in a you know a day cab i can maneuver a lot better than a sleeper so i'm willing to take the risk on some of them back roads you know long as you know because pretty much all i'm worried about is like a low bridge anything other than that i'm good in a day cab if it's just a narrow road i deal with it but being in this freaking sleeper that wasn't an option man so I'm stuck in traffic, getting to South Carolina, getting unloaded down there, freaking. Then I had to grab something else out of Greenville, South Carolina to bring back to Charlotte. I do that. While I'm headed back to Charlotte, there's another freaking accident. This time, GPS is like it's a freaking two-hour, 13-minute delay. So I had no choice in this freaking sleeper but to press my luck on them back roads with Google Maps, man. End up saving like an hour, man. Ended up in some tight spots. I'm talking, I need to make a right, and I'm scared. I'm going to knock down a freaking telephone pole. I'm trying to get cars to back up. Like, it was just annoying, man. Do all of that. And one of my other drivers was up um, at another spot picking up a load. And I had avoided sending this driver to this place all week. Because it's, you know, a spot we get loads from every day. Because this particular driver had got into it with the lady at the shipping office on Friday. That, you know, the driver felt that the shipping lady was being rude. And so they exchanged some words. Needless to say, driver gets here today. Wasn't even here 15 minutes. And they rejected the trailer. They're in a freaking 2014 trailer. No flaws at all. And they re it's sunny outside. They rejected the trailer because they said it uh, had like a piece of metal sticking out, right? So the driver sends me a picture like of what they talking about. I mean, 
it don't even look like a freaking thumbtack. You understand? And so, you know, I'm annoyed because, you know, this place is like 40 minutes from Charlotte. Closest place that I can send the driver to get another trailer would be Charlotte. And this driver has to take their kid to freaking um, open house or whatever at 5 p.m. And at this time, it's like uh, 210. So I'm like, by the time that driver made it, you're 40 minutes to Charlotte, switch trailers, drive 40 minutes back and try to get loaded. They're not going to be back in time to take their kid to freaking, uh, you know, open house. Mind you, I've been rolling since 2.45 in the morning. And it's, you know, at this time, they're hitting me up. I'm headed back to Charlotte. My GPS say, because of traffic, I'm not going to be back in Charlotte till 4 p.m. Y'all can do the math. I'm running out of all types of time, drive time, any all the other time. So I'm like, yo, you know, since you got to do that with your kid, don't even worry about it. I'll drive up there and get it loaded, and you pick it up in the morning and, you know, go deliver it or whatever. So... I do that. I go grab an empty trailer. I get to Charlotte like four or something, grab an empty trailer. I'm heading up this way. And like a good 20 cars ahead of me, accident happens. Smashed up. Bow, bow, bow. Whole highway shut down. I'm sitting, pulling the brakes and everything. I sat there for over an hour before they started making a path for us to go. So it went from I got to Charlotte at 4, which means I should have been at the shipper before 5 o'clock. I got to the shipper just now. What time is it now? 6.39. It took me uh, almost two hours, a little over two hours to go 32 miles. Then I get here. And these people are like, yo, you're going to be a work in. Mind you, I'm, yeah, I'm in one of my sleepers. But it's not a truck I drive every day. I'm not about to, you know, go sit on this man's bed. You understand? <laughs> and it smells like freaking cigarettes all over the place. I'm just freaking annoyed, man. One of them days you just wake up. You just want to knock your little stuff out. Come back to the crib. And here I am. Look, man, I've been driving. I mean, you know, I've been on the move for what? 16 hours or something? 17 hours? For what? <laughs> I'm the damn owner. Like, I should be working the least out of everybody. So I laugh a lot of these days where I start my day before a lot of my drivers and my day ends after all of my drivers. And yeah, I get it. I'm seeing more of the revenue than all of them, blah, blah, blah. But it's just it's just one of them days where you're just annoyed by it, man. Sometimes it ain't about money, it's about time. Time, boy, you can't get time back. I could make a dollar, I could lose a dollar, but you can't get time back. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm about to get to the situation where this is a contract that ain't going to be up. Until the freaking end of the year, but I don't know, man. I might be a situation where if I'm in the truck, it gotta just be dropping hooks. <laughs> it's one of them days where you just like middle finger to all of it, man. I just don't feel like trucking, you understand? But it's your guy, not your average trucker, man. Just thought I'd vent, salute to everybody out there. Uh, like, subscribe, share. Shout out to my man, Trucker Style Sean, man. I missed you live the other day. You should have told you to text me, message me, do something, man, you know. But y'all be easy. Trucker Not Your Average Gmail. Trucker Not Your Average Instagram. And I'm the only freaking truck here. And I'm a work in. I'm a work in against freaking li uh, drop trailers. <laughs> when you Shouldn't you freaking load a freaking human before you worry about a freaking drop trailer? But I digress, y'all be easy.